involved with the response at the Maple Avenue Bridge explosion in December met tonight to take a closer look at their response efforts and to see what they can do differently next time. Uh, News and ABC's Anthony Krolikowski was at that meeting sharing what they're hoping to improve on. It's a scene most people will remember. A huge explosion after a truck carrying compressed natural gas hit the Maple Avenue Bridge in Glenville on December 21st. Wednesday night, first responders meeting with agencies involved. It was more to discuss what we what we had, what we did, and what we found we might be able to do better in the future. Fire Chief Glenn Craig says the response was effective, but one issue was the number of departments responding, with 15 to 20 agencies on scene. Considering this is the first time New York State has seen an incident like this, we handled it very well. Even though this meeting was not open to the public, community members were hoping to voice some of their concerns. I mean, to me, all they have to do is put no commercial traffic, change the road. If you have these bridges that commercial traffic can't get to anyways, why not? Chief Craig says that the Alplas Firehouse may be too small to host a public meeting, but he is still open to that as an idea. He adds that the town has already hosted meetings like those, but this private meeting was only on emergency response. If we're going to want to talk about that, I'd be more than willing to come to any meeting. Both Glenville Police and Alplas Fire gave an update on the driver of the tractor trailer. Sylvester Basil Jr. is still recovering from burns to his hands at Westchester Burn Unit. A summons to town court will be sent to Basil for failing to navigate the bridge height, which is a town code violation. Reporting in Alplas, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.